Investors look for many indicators to see what to invest in in a startup. One of the key indicators is traction. If traction is doing well, they will overlook many other indicators. So traction uh, can be defined in different ways. It depends on the startup itself, and it depends on how the founder can position it. It could be as simple as how many people are signing up. It could be uh, monthly active users, daily active users, and, and active is also defined uh, by the founder themselves. So for example, it could be one login uh, per month, it could be one use per month, it could be uh, uh, one transaction per month, so it depends on the business, so that clarity needs to be there. And that once that definition is set, it's, uh, it's monitored month on month, day on day, and that's an indicator of traction. Um, especially when it comes to transactions, if you have tra monthly transactions that are increasing um, on a regular rate, you can dip in some months, that's fine, but if you have uh, transactions that are uh, increasing in terms of frequency and volume, uh, month on month, uh, those are definitely key indicators. The second key indicator is lifetime value, uh, and a simpler version of it is how long does it take for you to restore uh, the cost of acquiring that customer. So let's say it costs you 100 dirhams to acquire the customer, and uh, how early are you able to, to, to get it, to get that cost back? Is, is the transaction, what, how, much, how much do you get on the transaction that that customer does with you? Three dirhams, 50 dirhams, 100 dirhams. So uh, those two indicators between traction and how long it, 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 it gets you to uh, return that cost of acquiring the customer. Uh, those are the two main indicators. There are many other indicators, but if these two are going well for you, uh, the investors tend to overlook many of the other shortcomings. So. Uh, Yes, they look for a technical co-founder if it's technically heavy product, but if you're able to deliver on both, you're fine. Um, yes, they look for the total addressable size of the market, but again, if you're able to show that tra traction over, over a period, uh, they, they, they will uh, overlook that. Uh, they look at competitors in the space, um, they look at the background of the founders, uh, they look at how frequently, uh, how, how effectively are you able to execute, uh, they look at the team, uh, they look at what country you're in and what countries you can expand to. They look at what other verticals you could go into, but those are not uh, those are not the key aspects. They look for traction and how long it would it, it would return, uh, how you're able to return that cost. Because if you know that your CAC, your cost of acquisition is 100 dirhams, and you're able to return that cost in, let's say, two transactions, then uh, if you're able to execute in between, so the for, for the investor that's very clear that their money will come in to acquire customers, for you to uh, service them and be able to, to, to return that cost. And that can help you grow within the sector that you're in.